Hi YouTube, this is Ambi. Today we will talk about another JavaScript topic. Today it will be JavaScript relational operator. It will check the relation of one or x to y. Let's uh, let us look at those relational operators. First one is in. Uh, for that to check, we will do create an array. Batman. Superman and Flash. So three members of the DC. Then I will ask Batman if you're from Python background, then you will see that it should return true. But no. But if I say zero in DC, yes, because there is a first object in DC and it says yes. Right? Then I will say six in DC. False because there are only four items there, uh, three items there. Are there three in DC? Wow, okay. Then false because there are two. Two, two in DC. Yes, it is, right? Batman in instance of DC. No, because you can't instance of is something else you can't check whether it is an instance uh, of checks whether uh, it is a member of a class since we have not talked about class here we are not going to go there but it will check whether it is a particular type of instance For example dc instance of array so basically i'm asking is dc an array yes so um so zero in dc yes one in DC, yes. Two in DC, true. Three in DC, no. Um, length instance of array. Yes, obviously, because uh, array has a length, and that it is saying that yes, it has um, a length. So that's all we had for today uh, when we are uh, where we were talking about relational operator we will use this extensively when you are running a function or you know writing loops and then we will talk about these in like because using these will give you a more uh, better or a better clear idea than talking about them directly so thank you for tuning in have a great one